greetings from the second age of reason. It is now time for you to be enlightened and maybe persuaded. Hello and greetings from sunny Phoenix, Arizona. I'm here this week on business. And I'm here to talk to you about another interesting political aspect, the aspect of laws. That our country has a lot of laws. I bet if you printed them all out, you'd have thousands or maybe even millions of laws. Do we need all these laws? Sometimes I think lawmakers think that their only job is to make laws and more and more laws, because that's what they're hired for. I wonder if they realize that every time you pass a law, you make this law and you, by doing so, imply that you are making criminals breakers of the law. And what that implies is more load on the judicial system, more load on the legal system, more load on the prison system, and permanent, unending employment for lawyers. You never hear about layoffs of lawyers, do you? That's because there's so many laws. But I'm wondering if we should consider having people actively look at laws and decide if there's some that no longer are relevant to our society, some that are no longer relevant to anything. And these laws should just be undone, made, done away with, and cleared up. You know, I've heard America has the highest rate of incarceration and imprisonment of any country on Earth. And maybe it's because we have way too many laws and we don't need to have so many prisoners in jails, and that's what's costing so much to our society. So I think we need to look at that. I think we need to bring it up to our representatives and lawmakers that perhaps we don't need so many laws, and that instead of just making them all, they should look and see if there's some that should be made, should be unmade. And I just want to leave that thought with you for today, and I'll be seeing you.